Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. This weekend, I went to a baseball card show at the Uniontown Mall. I was expecting about 30 tables there, but however, it was kind of a ghost town when I got there. Over 50% of the dealers were gone. We'll tell you a little bit more about how that came about. But first, let's show you some of the booths that I did visit. And uh, we'll talk about what I picked up and I'll show you everything that I got. So first up, it's Scooter's Corner. We stopped off at their card table last weekend. I spent about, I think it was 80 bucks here. I'll show you what I got from Scooter in a second. Bryce from Stay Classy Cards was here as well. He was doing a pack attack with the kiddos. So you see, it's probably like 30 kids in there getting a bunch of cards, having a great time. Here's his table. He's got a bunch of cards set up here and there was two Stay Classy packs, the $100 packs. So I grabbed both of those. We'll rip those open in this video and see what we can find in there. And then really the last seller that I saw that had a lot of great stuff was Mike from Ohio. He had all these different boxes, 25 cent boxes, dollar boxes, $5 boxes, and all these slabs. So I think I grabbed about, it's a big handful, about 120 some dollars. He knocked some money off. I'll show you the specific cards that I picked up. So. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I also picked up some blaster boxes here, which will be in the next clip. That was its own separate video. Altogether, I spent just a tad under $500 here. So I'll show you everything that I bought. Thank you for watching. All right, everybody, I'm back from the Union Town Show. This one ran on Friday and Saturday this past week. It ran until 7 p.m., so I thought that I'd be okay getting there at 4. However, the place was uh, quickly turning into a ghost town as a lot of sellers had closed up shop and left. So I would say half of the tables were vacant and uh, a little unfortunate there because I probably lost out on maybe some more pickups that I would have had if everybody was there and going full force. But let's go ahead and show you what I did manage to pick up. Spent a few hundred dollars and here we go. All right, so we have a Shohei Otani rated rookie card. This first batch is from Scooter, from Scooter's Cards. Uh, Scooter's Corner, you've seen him before on the channel. Uh, we've got a Shohei Otani, we've got a Tony Gwynn, we've got Nolan Ryan, I always love this card, and we've got the Francisco Lindor first. So if we take a look at the prices, there's 10 and 15 on those two. The Tony Gwynn, he had a $60 price tag on, and we've got Shohei with a 35 So all together, we're looking at, uh, on his list price, 95 uh, 110, so 120. I think I got them for, I want to say it was, I want to say it was 70 bucks, either 70 or 80 bucks. So we were able to work out a deal for these and, uh, definitely some nice cards here. That Otani Optic is a nice one. I don't think I've seen that one before. I think it's a photo variation. And then the Tony Gwynn, of course, a very, very nice card as well. So that was pickup number one for about 70 bucks. And moving on to the next one. Sorry, I just saw a little spider drop down from the ceiling here. Had to get that out of my face. It's literally like an inch from my nose. All right, so where do we go next? How about we do this next? All right, this bag, I believe, was from Mike. I'll, uh, I also picked up some blaster boxes of update. I did those in a separate video a couple days ago because it felt like those would be best suited for their own video. All right, so here we go with this next one. Now, man, Mike's prices were great. Mike is a local seller. He actually comes from Ohio. And I met him before at the Youngstown show a month or two ago. Really nice dude. And here's what I picked up from his booth. So you're going to see some really good prices on some nice vintage stuff here. There's a Nolan Ryan 82 Fleer for just $3.00. Got Manny Machado's first Bowman card for five bucks, which I thought was a great deal. Hank Aaron, 76 tops. That's actually Aaron's last ever tops card. Now, it's a little off condition. There's a little crease right there, but still, for five dollars for Hank Aaron, his final tops card, have to grab that one. Nolan Ryan, 1981 tops. Another great card right there. I love early 80s Ryans. I love anything like pre. 84 Ryan, I'm usually buying it if it's a great deal. And these are all great prices. $3 for an 83 Fleer. $3 for an 81 Fleer. $3 for an 82 Fleer. Then we've got a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card for 5 bucks. 
can find a Griffey rookie for five bucks these days. That's usually a great deal. One of my biggest regrets is not buying. Somebody had a whole stack of Griffeys at the National for five dollars a piece, and I should have bought a bunch of them. Typically, you see these cards going for two or three times that price at most card stores. Got some Nolan Ryan's here. These were from the I think the dollar box. I think nineteen seventy nine. Strikeout leader, so this would be an 80 tops card, three Nolan Ryan cards for a buck a piece. Juan Marichal, that was only a dollar. He had a dollar box of all kinds of off condition cards. A 65 Marichal for a buck, yeah, it's off condition, but someone loved this card and used it well. And I, I, I just I love old cards, even this one. Willie Stargell, 69 tops. This one's off condition. This one's kind of cool. I wanted to kind of compare this to this copy. Look at that. Here's a PSA 9 that I have. I pulled this out of a $250 State Classy pack. This uh, card here is probably worth like $350 to $400. And this card here I got for a buck. So condition matters as uh, this one's an almost flawless, perfect copy. And this one has been well loved, but uh, still a nice card for a buck of a Hall of Famer. A J-Rod rookie card for $10. When I saw this, I thought it was a great deal. And not only that, it came with a one-touch. I mean, one-touches were like $5 a piece as it is. So really, when I saw 10 I was really kind of seeing 5 Price tag on that because of the, the, the one-touch. Awesome deal right there. $5 for a J-Rod first Bowman card. And then we have more. I was just thinking, how, are these, how do these survive the show? I guess the show was really, really slow. Um, some of the dealers said that just there was very little foot traffic. The Uniontown Mall is not known to be very busy, and it just wasn't very busy this weekend. Heather speculated that it could have been because it was such a nice weekend outside that people were doing other things, and uh, maybe if it was colder, that would have driven people out to look at the mall for you know a baseball card show or whatever. There's a Ryan Sandberg rookie card, 83 Fleer, with a one-touch. Tony Gwynn rookie card in a one touch as well. And I had to get the trifecta, the three top rookie cards from 83 Fleer, all Hall of Famers. There's Wade Boggs for just 10 with a one touch. Burt Blylevin, 15, again, with a free one touch. This is a nice one here for just 10 bucks. It's got Hank Aaron, Willie Stargell, and Joe Torrey on it for 10 bucks. Great deal right there. Three Hall of Famers. Couldn't pass that one up. And last but not least, a Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card from 82 Fleer in a one-touch. So I thought those were great deals. I couldn't pass on them, especially with all the one-touches. And uh, I think the grand total there, I think when I added up, it was like 120. I think Mike said it was around 120 as well. He gave it to me for 90 bucks. So a great deal right there, knocking $30 off. That's like uh, those prices were already low. And then I was like tossing in like the, the Ripken and uh, maybe like the Sandberg for free. So awesome, awesome deal. Mike, shout out to you. Thank you very much for having such good stuff and uh, great prices. All right. And last but not least, Bryce was there from State Classy Cards. He was occupied almost the entire time. He was doing a pack attack with the kiddos. So he was giving away lots of free cards to kids in that pop-up shop adjacent to the card show. I did get to see him and say hello, and he did have two of these packs left over. His wife was working the uh, his wife was working them all there, but or working the booth. This is what he was working on. It's a uh, pack attack for kids, ripping packs. You get fifty dollar ticket price, and you get a whole bunch of stuff. He was just giving away stuff like crazy there. So next time you you go to uh, go to a card show and Bryce is there, and you hear about a pack attack, you might want to try it out. In fact, I am. I'm thinking about maybe doing one next time when he has one for adults. Maybe doing a video on it and seeing what it's like. But we have two packs here. And uh, let's see what we can have in here. All right, so let's see what we've got. These are $100 packs. Pack number one. So we got Wander Franco rookie card. Nick Frosso autograph. We've got Jacob Robeson autograph that one is going to be numbered out of 99 there's an a rod relic we got brady singer that's gonna be out of 499 autograph bunch of autographs we got jd barrios that's jose barrios <laughs> extra edition back when uh he used to be called jd i guess instead of jose you can see he was picked up by minnesota there and now of course he's on the Blue Jays, we got Errol Vera out of 600 autograph. Tons of autos in there. There's a refractor of Bobby Witt Jr. A jumbo swatch from 3-2 and two of Miguel Cabrera. 
We have Alec Manoa auto out of 49. Nice one there from Immaculate. And the final card is Aloy Jimenez out of 99. So a big stack of autographs right there. Some nice names. Aloy Jimenez from Museum Collection finishes off our first $100 pack. Let's check the other one. It feels like there's a slab in there. So here we go. Pack number two, $100 pack. We've got a short print of Vlad Jr. starting things off. There's Landon Marceau. First Bowman autograph. We've got a Giancarlo Stanton. That is a 2015 Allen and Ginter relic. A Raphael Devers rookie card. There's Jackson Wolf, blue, number to 99. We've got Spencer Strider, rookie patch right there. Very nice. Josh Bell, rated rookie autograph. That's a good one for sure. We've got Omar Vizquel. That's a triple relic. Alec Manoa, a second Alec Manoa card. And the final card. It's going to be a CSG, Luis Robert, in a 9.5. So there you have it, $200 packs from State Classy Cards. And those are the last $200 packs that he had. He also had some $10 packs, but I didn't pick up any of those. I think that's uh, everything I picked up altogether. So I spent $200 on this. I spent $90 on this. That's $290, $80 on this. Uh, so $370 at the card show. Plus, if you want to toss in the $110 I played on, uh, paid for the blaster boxes. We're looking at uh, 480, so about a 500, dollars almost a 500 dollars spend at that card show, and I thought I got some pretty good stuff there. So uh, you can let me know in the comments how you think I did. Next card show in this area, if you're interested, it'll be at the Johnstown Galleria Mall, Johnstown Mall. It is uh, going to be next weekend on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday during mall hours. And uh, if you go up to Johnstown, also check out 814 Card World at New for You. We did a video there a few weeks ago. Lots of great stuff, so you can. You know, double dip, get the card show, get the new card shop, support them, and, uh, you know, hopefully find some great cards. So thank you, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.